Welcome back to www.shoeswapmarina.com. On the lot today is a bit of a familiar sight. We have sold this boat once before, and the new owner asked us to uh, repaint it. So it's gone from being a green 2004 Regal 2665 to a black. 2004 Regal 2665. Uh, the repaint was done over the winter of 2014-15 and uh, it's holding up really well. It looks great. This current owner of the boat has also replaced the engine block. Uh, that was a pre-existing condition that he inherited with the boat. There was a crack in the engine block. So that's all been fixed and uh, and redone. There's less than 50 hours on the rebuilt motor. There's been a whole host of other stuff that's been replaced over the years by this customer. And she's a, a trouble-free boat now. As we take a walk around, you'll even note that he's got the fender covers on the fenders that just helps preserve the finish. Overall, on the outside, she's in excellent condition. And I would say on the inside, she's in almost excellent condition. I'll show you a couple of things up there. But uh, definitely very good shape throughout, mechanically and cosmetically. And uh, we'll hop inside and have a look at some of the features there. Okay, and here we have the Regal 2665 from the swim platform. This is definitely one of the big bonus features of this boat is the huge extended swim platform that's here. And what's nice is you still get use of all three of these handy storage lockers back here. There is also a transom shower. And as we come into the cockpit, you'll see that there is a, a decent clarion stereo system. These two rear benches here do sort of fold out towards each other to make a nice big sun pad, which is a really nice feature. We've also got a location here where you can mount the table from down below, so you can do a bit of socializing cockpit hour up top. Most of the upholstery is in excellent condition. There is one small uh, rip in one of the cushions here that I'll show you. Both your helm seats are bolstered, which is lovely. So, uh, nice to have that nice dual helm seat. Cozy up with your partner while you're bombing down the lake. Uh, just over here, so there's this panel here, has a couple of nicks. And then this cushion has a little minor issue as well. I mean, Got to kind of go out of your way to see them, but they are there. Uh, so as well as the hull being painted, uh, this customer asked us to update the dash and switch panels. So these used to be the old Burlwood finish, similar to the steering wheel here, and we've uh, removed everything and painted them black and reinstalled them. And they look great. So this has been a meticulously well-maintained boat. And the theme really does continue as we head on down below here. So you have a single burner electric stove. There is a refrigerator and a microwave. If you were to bring one of those suitcase generators along with you, you'd have no shortage of power and I mean you could run all your accessories as much as you want. So the V-berth is a nice generous size up here. Got the table set up there at the moment. There will be other pictures on the website with uh, the bed all in place and everything. A nice neutral color scheme that's not, uh, not quickly going out of date. And as we pan back here to the head, they've just got a little floaty in here which I'll move for you. And you can see that that's all 
as well in very nice shape. This also converts into your shower. Pretty civilized. And then your raft cabin back here. So you do have a nice kind of sitting area to get your shoes on and off there. And a nice generous sized aft cabin. And it does have this uh, privacy curtain here to give you a little bit of privacy. Ample storage down below here. It's a very nice, nicely laid out boat. Your uh, 12 volt and 120 volt switch panels here. As we head back up into the cockpit, you can see there's even storage below the seats here. It does have the uh, Lowrance Fish Finder GPS chart plotter. Spots for a couple of rod holders. And like I say, she is in immaculate shape. And we'll head back out of the boat and uh, wrap it all up here. Here we have the engine in the 2004 Regal 2665. It's a Volvo Penta 8.1 GI, so that's 375 horsepower, hooked up to a Volvo Duoprop stern drive. Very efficient and reliable stern drive. And uh, the motor is surprisingly efficient. If you're not uh, if you're not walking on it and and you know hammer down the whole time, she does very well. Certainly ample power for the boat. And as I said before, it is actually a new block to this boat owner less than 50 hours ago. So there you have it. It's a 2004 Regal 2665, powered by a Volvo Penta 8.1 GI motor. That's 375 horsepower of 496, big block power. Volvo Duoprop stern drive. She scoots along really nice. A very attractive package, inside and out. Check it out at shoeswapmarina.com for pricing and pictures and any more information that you're looking at on it. Thanks for coming by and we'll see you out on the water.